California could be on the way to its worst wildfire season in the state's history. Some are saying it's already hit that point. The Mendocino complex in Northern California is forcing a two week delay for the start of the school year. John Blackstone reports this morning. More than 4,000 firefighters continue to battle the Mendocino complex fires almost two weeks after the blazes began. So this is one of your lines of defense here. Yeah, this is a secondary line. For Cal Fire Battalion Chief Russ Fowler and his team, fighting these fires has been like waging a war. We're on the battleground and we're trying to make sure our troops stay safe, but we're also trying to save people's lives and property. This is one place where fire crews have been victorious, cutting a fire break, stopping these flames as they came down this ridge. But they'll need many more of these victories before this fire is out. Crews have been setting up multiple lines of defense, clearing away vegetation to create fire breaks. They're keeping a close eye on where the fire might be spreading. So our hope is that that plume will collapse back on itself and not bend too much more to our north. But a plume like that is what's helped this fire grow so much over the past Absolutely. Days or so. A plume like that, and then you add a wind to it, it turns horizontal, and the fire's off and running to, uh, again. The unpredictable nature of these fires is why thousands of people have been evacuated. But not everyone has decided to leave their home. I'm going to stay. And if I think it's going to get to me, then I'll, I'll leave. But I don't feel that threatened right now. The threat to homes here is real. This fire has already destroyed 75 residences and more than 10,000 structures are still considered threatened. Uh, the battle here is far from over. Fire officials don't believe that this fire will be fully contained until September. John Blackstone, CBS News, Ukiah, California.